Hello guys and welcome to this new Blender Grease Pencil Upgrade video. Today again is time for new Blender version and exciting new features. Grease Pencil received significant updates in Blender 5.0, so let's take a deep dive into each one. To celebrate this occasion, I've updated my Blender theme pack to look great with this major release. You can get one theme for free or all six for small fee. It's so cool that it has already been downloaded more than a thousand and seven hundred times find the download link in the description below along with all the other links mentioned in this video a new pen tool has been added to edit mode I have created a full tutorial to help you fully grasp it this may be the most significant update in this version and those who have already seen the tutorial noted that it finally closes a major feature gap that other animation apps had over Blender's Grease Pencil. A new curve data panel was added to the sidebar in edit mode to control Grease Pencil curve settings. Among them are cyclic to switch between a closed or open shape and resolution to make the curves more or less smooth. Curves of type NURBS or NURBS have additional settings. You can have one or multiple curves selected to edit their settings from this panel. Interpolation now supports all new curve types, Bezier, Katmul Ram, and NURBS. Previously, it only worked with polystrokes. Note that only a simple form of NURBS interpolation is supported and more complex handling will be added later. The Bezier strokes handles now use the same colors as curve objects. You can tweak them in your theme settings under common curves. This gives each handle type its own color, making them easy to distinguish. To learn about the different handle types and their uses, watch my tutorial about them. Support was added to export Bezier, Katmul Ram, and NURBS curve types to SVG. This feature didn't work as expected in my tests Bruh. and should be improved in the future. A new Join Strokes operator has been added under Stroke Join to Join strokes. Starting in Blender 4.3, the join operator took into account only selected points, but the new join strokes will join one or more strokes entirely, even if only a single point of each is selected. This is how it worked in Grease Pencil 2.0, so you can say this was a missing feature finally brought back to Grease Pencil 3.0. The join and join copy names were changed to split and split and copy. Weird names for join operators, but there is talk about giving them better names. New flat and sharp corner types have been added, joining the existing round type. You may change the corner type of selected points, in edit mode of course, from the menus under points set corner type. The rendering of end caps on cyclic or closed strokes has been improved. This fix addresses an issue that appeared with low opacity cyclic strokes when stroke depth order was set to 3D location. Under these conditions, the start and end caps would overlap, creating a noticeably denser higher opacity point. But now, well, no more. The opacity operator has finally been added to the edit mode menus under Grease Pencil Transform. This allows you to change the opacity of selected points or strokes by dragging the mouse. This is not a new feature, but it was previously missing from the menus and wasn't searchable. We could only access it through the shortcut Shift plus F. You can thank me for this addition as it was in response to my bug report. Grease Pencil rendered animations now support motion blur. This is another big feature and I've created a detailed video showing you how to use it, including some speed and quality tests. Please note two important limitations. One, motion blur is not applied when Grease Pencil objects are composited into a scene. And two, the effect is not visible in the viewport, it only appears in the final render. And as usual, there are some Python API breaking 
changes. The API allows a programmer to access Blender's functionality through code to create or update custom scripts or add-ons. Find all those changes in the dedicated release notes page. Again, all the links mentioned in this video are in the description below. This is it guys, the Palestinian nightmare is far from over so keep speaking up. Thanks for watching, see you in another video and as always, peace.